let's take a look at integer addition and subtraction rules. Is the result of the following equation a positive or negative number? 1 minus 5. Okay, well we're subtracting a bigger number from a smaller number. So anytime you're subtracting and you're taking away more than you had originally, your answer is going to be negative. Now, if you think about this, on the number line, for example, let's say here's zero. To the right, we have our positive numbers like one, two, three, four, et cetera. And to the left, we have our negative numbers, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, and so on. So you can see that if we started out at one and then we subtract five, well, when you subtract, you're decreasing it. So you'd have to move to the left one, two, three, four, five times. And you can see that you're going to land on a negative number. Is the result of the following equation a positive or a negative number? Negative one minus negative six. Okay, well, negative one is our first number. Remember, when you have two signs next to each other, you want to rewrite it with just one sign. Minus a negative becomes plus a positive. Remember, our rule when you're subtracting with integers is that you can add the opposite. So if we change our subtraction sign to a plus, the opposite of negative 6 is positive 6. So this becomes the same thing as saying negative 1 plus 6. Well, since I'm adding something bigger than the negative, right? six is more th than the one I'm taking away, my answer should be positive. Four minus negative nine. Well, again, when we have two signs next to each other, we want to simplify it to one sign. So our rule for subtracting with integers is to add the opposite. So I would say four, instead of a minus, it becomes a plus. And since we changed the sign, we have to take the opposite of negative 9. Well, the opposite of negative 9 is positive 9. So this is the same thing as saying 4 plus 9. Well, if I add two positive numbers, my answer is definitely going to be positive. Negative 8 minus negative 7. Okay, so negative 8... We've seen in the past few problems that minus a negative becomes a plus, right? Our rule is to add the opposite. So if we add, the opposite of negative 7 is positive 7. So now I have negative 8 plus 7. But I'm still, that negative number has a larger absolute value, right? Negative 8 is 8 places to the left of 0, and 7 is only 7 places to the right. So I'm still going to wind up to the left of zero or at a negative number. Six minus negative four. Okay, well, our rule for subtracting integers is to add the opposite. So instead of minus a negative, it becomes plus a positive. So six plus four. Well, adding two positive numbers is always going to give me a positive answer. Negative seven minus negative nine. Okay, so negative seven, and then to subtract negative nine, the rule is add the opposite. So that becomes plus positive nine. Negative seven plus nine. Well, the absolute value of nine is bigger than the absolute value of negative seven. So that means my answer when I add these is gonna be a positive number. Seven minus zero. Well, taking away zero doesn't change my answer at all, right? Seven minus zero would still be seven, so I'm gonna get a positive answer. Negative five minus four. Well, if I'm starting at a negative number and then I'm subtracting, I would be moving even, even further to the left. Another way to think about this is that Remember, our rule for subtracting is to add the opposite. So instead of minus positive 4, we can think of this as plus negative 4. 
And the rule is that when you're adding two negatives, your answer is always going to be negative. Negative 9 minus 3. Okay, well, if I already have a negative number and then I'm taking away even more, my answer should be negative. And if you want to think about this with our add the opposite rule, remember we said when you're subtracting an integer, instead of saying minus positive 3, you can add the opposite. That's like saying plus negative 3. And then we know our rule is if you're adding with the same signs, if they're both negative, our answer is going to be negative. 3 minus 2. Well, since I'm subtracting a smaller number from a bigger one, my answer is going to be positive. 